in terms of road deaths in Western Australia, distraction accounts for about 30%. So most people don't appreciate that. They tend to think it's all about speeding and drink driving. We lose almost 200 people a year. We have about 2,000 serious injuries. We don't want to lose any West Australians. West Australia used to be best in class in the early 90s. We had the best rate of road death per 100,000 people. We're now the worst. There are more and more technological devices and people are more and more trying to do many things at one time. We're increasingly seeing the effects of inattention. How serious is it? You know, very serious problem. The fact is that you cannot do more than one thing at a time usually. You are in fact switching from one to the other. And every time you switch, there's a cost. The last 20 years, there's not been one single major advance in the treatment of head injuries, that's gonna make a big difference. If you've had a head injury, you know, you just lose that function, you lose so much of your, your ability to look after yourself, and of course people die from it as well. We may feel I can talk on a cell phone and walk, I can um, you know, monitor everything that's going around me at the same time. In actual fact, that's really not the way the brain works. Inattentive states aren't just caused by distractions in the world, they can also be caused by internal factors. So if, for example, you are very fatigued, very depressed, or very sad, for example, that can also cause people to get into an inattentive state. When we've accounted for high speeds, when we've accounted for alcohol and drugs, when we've taken away all the other factors, we think anything up to a maximum of around 80% of our road crashes are due to inattention. I'm pretty much paralysed from the chest down. It's like when you have a come across and have an accident, it's, it's like the person you are dies and you're, you're left with this person that you don't know that can't do anything and is as helpless as a little baby. All the sad, tragic things I see, you take a perfect family one split second and everything changes for that family. One person in that family gets a head injury, spinal cord injury, or any other nasty injury. That whole family's normal kind of day-to-day -day life has changed for often for a long time. Pretty much everything sort of stopped working and needs help with uh, bowels and, and, you know, normal everyday stuff. There's stuff that we need help with and need carers for. Some people with high level injuries, it uh, affects their heart rate, their blood pressure, they might lose their ability to breathe, to perspire, to shiver. You know, I've, I've worked with spinal injuries for over 20 years and I, I'm not getting a spinal cord injury. It's just not gonna happen to me, but it happens to somebody. So, I mean, I suppose we have to ask the people on the ward. You wish that you had the power to turn the clock back just for that nanosecond, and I'm sure they would give anything to do that. There's a lot going on in cars. So you've got the radio blaring, your mates making jokes, your mobile phone, whereas the main focus of your attention should be driving that car. By any measure, Western Australia's road safety results, our road toll is unacceptable. You know, we're the, we're the worst in Australia. We used to be the best. We need to make people aware of the costs of not paying focused attention to something. It seems simple, but it actually isn't. So it needs to be addressed.